Good morning, it's Eleanor. I'm out here at 6.30 in the morning. Bert is right back there. Uh, we're at our house this morning and we are planning on doing a big day. So that means we're gonna be spending the whole day bird watching, trying to see as many different species of birds as we can. Uh, we've done it a few different ways over the past few years. We've done one where we started up in Shenandoah and then we worked our way all the way out to the bay. Um, today I think we're going to stick just in Fauquier County um, and we're starting here in our yard this morning. We're going to see how it is, how migration was last night, and then decide whether we want to spend the rest of the day driving around to a few different spots. Um, but I hope we will. It's been pretty productive so far and I hope you'll come along for the ride. So we had a pretty good morning at our house. Bert just entered the list on eBird and we had 55 species including 13 warblers. We heard four Cape May warblers. We didn't get to see any but that's always exciting. Um, so it seemed like it was a pretty good night last night. Either there were a lot of birds moving through or they got kind of stuck because of all the rain. Um, but either way there are a lot of birds around so we're going to go on with the big day. Um, we got a lot of the more generalist species at our house, um, so now we're going to go kind of to more specialized habitats and see if we can find some more specialist birds. So we're headed right now up to Thompson Wildlife Management Area, um, and we're hoping to get some of the more high elevation birds up there, including cerulean warbler and hooded warbler, um, and so we'll see what we can find. See you up there. Well, we had a successful stop up in Thompson Wildlife Management Area. We added cerulean warbler. That's exciting. That's a pretty rare um, and quite declining species up there in the mountains. Um, we also added hooded warbler, rose-breasted grosbeak. Um, we saw several red starts, so it's a nice stop up there. The flowers are blooming in Kentucky, of course. Um, so we're on our way to Sky Meadows State Park right now. Um, we're hoping for some more migrants there, but we were driving um, on Leeds Manor Road and we heard a bobbling. So we stopped um, to see if we could get that in the telescope. That's another really quickly declining um, grassland bird species. They do migrate through Clifton. So if you come um, at Cl to Clifton, you might be able to see one in the next couple of weeks. Um, it's a really gorgeous, uh, kind of unique looking bird in the blackbird family. Um, and we'll see if we can get a better look at it here. Well, we didn't get a great look at the bobolink, uh, but that's the beauty of birding by ear. Even if the bird doesn't cooperate and you can't get a great look, you can still know it's there if you know the call. And what we're hearing now that we're in Sky Meadow State Park is a red-headed woodpecker somewhere back in here. Um, this is a good spot for them right on the entrance to the main part of the park. Um, there's kind of a open, wet, wet-ish patch of forest. Um, and there's a pretty reliable um, group of red-headed woodpeckers here, which is always lovely to see.
Any luck? In your ale. That's awesome. Way to go. Another productive stop at Sky Meadow State Park. We went to all three entrances. They all have pretty different habitats, so they have different birds at each of the three entrances. And we picked up a lot of new species. Um, Red-headed woodpecker, white-crowned sparrow, white-throated sparrow, bald eagle, common raven. We got Virginia some good looks at bobolinks and birds found a Virginia rail, which is really cool. Um, we're going to all these beautiful, undeveloped open spaces, which we're so grateful that they're still open. Um, but that can make it actually a little bit challenging to find some of the more cosmopolitan species. So we just got a rock pigeon. Very exciting. Um, we've been going for about six hours now, so we're going to take a little lunch break and then head on down to Clifton and see what's happening down there. Did you hear? What is the call similar to? Spotted sandpit. It is a solitary sandpit here out here in the pasture. We got some turkeys here at Clifton. Hooray! Three turkeys! Four. Four turkeys! And a chat! A yellow breasted chat! Good afternoon. It's about 4.30, so we've been birding for about 10 hours now, and we are at our last stop. We're down in the southern part of the county at Phelps Wildlife Management Area. Um, Bert's been keeping an eBird list, and I think we're about, we've seen about 105 species so far today, which is pretty cool. Um, we've gotten up into the 100 teens in past years, so we're hoping for a few more species here, maybe getting up into those teens again. Um, we might find yellow-throated warbler here. Um, there are a couple common species that we haven't seen yet. Um, we haven't seen a mallard, um, so we might get lucky and see one of those here, and we'll let you know what we find. Well, we got a little sideline from the birds. Bert found some Baptisia tinctoria here on the edge of the trail, which is a good sign. Cool plant. All right, at the end of the day, we were too tired to do any more filming, so here we are a couple days later, and we're going to summarize what we found. Bert added up all of the birds that we saw, and we saw... 108 species. Which is pretty amazing. Just in Fauquier County, 108 different species of bird. It's pretty cool. Without trying that hard. <laughs> yeah, all things being considered, it was a uh, pretty civilized big day. We only woke up, you know, started at 6.30, stopped before the owls, but... So do you want to say maybe something about why you like doing big days or why, yeah, why, what you enjoy about big days? Well, I just, I think uh, early May is my favorite time of year because of all the migratory birds. And so, yeah, it's just an opportunity to take advantage of the time of year and see as many species as we can in a day without, uh, you know, working too hard. Um, and, you know, if you don't get out in these just couple of special weeks in early May, you don't have, you really don't have a chance to see most of these species in Virginia the rest of the year. So it's, it's just a nice time of year to be outside all day. Um, and then the Fauquier tour was cool because we started at the highest elevation in the county. Um, where the leaves were just barely coming out and we ended down in the bottomlands where spring is already well advanced. So it was just really cool to see all those different habitats. And where the soil is so sandy and it's a completely different forest down there. It's full of beech trees where, whereas here at Clifton it's only a half an hour away but we have maybe one or two beech trees. It's just a different forest down there. Yep, and they have summer tanagers and other birds that don't breed anywhere else in the county. Chuck Will's widows. We didn't get either of those though. Yeah. What else? Anything else we missed? Well, so, yeah, you know, as always, you miss easy stuff um, that you think you should be able to find. The last few years, we, we've missed turkeys and kingfishers almost every time, but we got both of those this time, but we missed ruffling swallow. Um, what else? 
Mallard. Killdeer. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, a few. And then also some harder ones, but we I think we did pretty well, yeah. actually. How about favorite bird of the day? I think my favorite was Cerulean Warbler, so we got great looks at one down low. They're usually way up high. Um, that's also one of our, you know, uh, most threatened birds in the area, so that was the highlight for me. Mine was the Kentucky Warbler. We got really great looks at a couple Kentucky Warblers up there in the mountains. Really close. That's a really gorgeous bird. So it was a fun day. Yep. And if you're not up for the whole day, we'd still recommend birding at one or two spots at this time of year. It's a really great time to get outside and see some migrating and some breeding birds. And if you're interested, this is a map of our route for the big day. Um, we started there in Orlean and we went up to Thompson Wildlife Management Area and then hopped over to Sky Meadows State Park, then down to Clifton and then all the way down into the southern part of the county to get to Phelps Wildlife Management Area. Um, like we said before, it really covered a range of elevations and a range of habitat types and every spot had a few different birds. So it's really cool to get out and explore not too far from home. Um, if you want to try something similar, let us know. Um, we'd be happy to give you tips about where to go, what to look for, um, and we'd love to know what you find out there. Happy birding!